on the occasion of sankranti let's see how to make yummy and tasty ven pongal at home hello friends welcome to tiffin room happy sankranti and happy pongal if you like today's recipe please like share and subscribe now let's begin the recipe Take one cup rice in a bowl. Pongal is traditionally made with newly harvested rice. Now take a half cup moong dal in a pan and fry them on medium flame till it turns little golden and gives nice aroma. Add the dal to the rice. Thoroughly wash it three to four times. Transfer the rice and dal to a pressure cooker. Now in the same cup add 4 and 1/2 cup water. Use the same cup to measure rice, dal and water to get a good consistency pongal. Add salt to taste and 1 tablespoon ghee. Cook it for 3 whistles. If the rice is aged you may need one more whistle let the cooker cool down completely do not rush to release the pressure it's perfectly cooked take 4 to 5 tablespoon ghee in a pan yes it needs more ghee that is what pongal is all about Add one teaspoon peppercorn. Let it splutter. Now add one teaspoon cumin seeds, two to three green chilies. Saute it. Add half teaspoon ginger, handful of cashews. Saute it well. Now add a pinch of hing and a strand of curry leaves. Saute it well till the cashews are slightly golden. Take this out immediately and put it on the cooked rice and dal. Mix the rice and dal before and after adding the seasoning. The consistency of the pongal depends on the age of the rice and also on the type of the cooker. If it's too runny, give one or two more whistles. If it's too dry add little hot water to get the desired consistency. At this stage you can adjust the salt. To give a restaurant style plating, grease a bowl with some ghee, add the pongal and flip it upside down. Now let's serve the hot pongal. Pongal goes even better with some yummy gudso on the side. If you would like to know the recipe, please let me know in the comment below. I hope you guys like today's recipe. For more such recipes, please subscribe our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you.